Thomas and Friends, Tales from the Rails, on Great Western. It was a beautiful, beautiful, busy day on the island of Sodor, and all the engines were working hard. Oliver, the Great Western engine, was especially liking this day. He had a lot of jobs to do, and each one he was doing, he was doing it the Great Western way. He became thirsty quickly since it was so hot out, and set, came for a drink. Oliver thought this day couldn't get any better. Oliver then finished his drink and puffed off to the arts to meet his best friend, Duck. Oliver then arrived to find Thomas telling his tale of him with troublesome trucks. So, said Thomas. Oh, hello, Oliver, he said. I'm just talking about the time when you broke, accidentally broke Scruffy with your almighty powers, said Thomas. Well, they're not that strong of powers, said Oliver. Well, if you can break a truck open, you gotta have strength. That is pretty true, said Oliver. I am feeling pretty confident right now. Well, said Duck. Oliver, if you're feeling so confident right now, then why don't you go pull my cars? What? said Oliver. Troublesome trucks? Oh, it's been a while since I've pulled those. Well, you're feeling pretty confident, you just said. Okay, said Oliver. I accept your offer. Remember, said Percy, trucks can be troublesome. Yes, said Rosie. They do a lot of tricks on me and Molly. Well, said Molly, everyone. They play tricks on everyone. Well, not on me. They're scared of me. Thomas got off the turntable, and Oliver went to Brendam. Oliver soon arrived from the yards to Brendam Ducks to find a short train of troublesome trucks. Oliver then quickly buckled up and puffed away. Wait, said Corky, you don't even know where those are going to. Oliver still rolled away, not even knowing Cranky said anything. But Oliver had already started his journey. Oliver still continued on with his train. Puffing through the yard's turntable again and over a crossover to the quarry. Oliver supposed that the load would be due here, but he was wrong. Oliver then found Millie at the quarry. What are you doing here, said Oliver? Shouldn't you be up at Olstead Castle? Osted Castle stewards are closed for today. Maintenance is due in the castle. Oh, said Oliver. That would make some sense. Well, here are those cars that are supposed to go here. Well, I guess. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to go here. Well, those cars are full of gravel. We put gravels in car here. Not get them from another railway. Oh, said Oliver. That's right. Oops. Well, I guess I better go try another place. With that, Oliver puffed away. He then started puffing up a steep hill. This truck started to cause trouble, but not that much. Oliver was going to Hallstroff Station. But the trucks weren't even supposed to go to Hallstroff Station either. So Oliver continued on his way. There was a giant hill to get up to Hallstroff, which meant a giant downhill and Oliver approached it, stopping so he can make sure his brakes were checked. But the trucks wanted to cause trouble. Come on, come on, let's push him, let's bump him. Yeah, said the third truck. Okay, okay, we'll do it. Three, two, one, go! Oh, said Oliver, help! Oliver screeched on his brakes, but then realized something. Murdoch was, playing, was pulling a slow goods train, and was about to go over the crossover where Oliver was heading to. Oliver realized this. He knew he should have stopped, but then picked up speed so he could cross before Murdoch. The trucks then caused trouble again by holding back, and Oliver came to it, started slowing down over the crossover. Murdoch saw what was happening and tried to stop, but he was too close and hit Oliver and the trucks, causing a big, big, big mess. One of the worst the island had ever seen.
bother, said Oliver. Now I'm going to be late. Since the accident was really close to the yard's turntable, Percy sped off for the search and rescue center. He soon arrived with Rocky to clean up the mess. Once the mess was cleaned up, Oliver was fine and went to the shed and started sulking and moaning. He knew he had done something wrong. Doc, Oliver's good friend, soon arrived. Hey, said Doc. Hello, said Oliver. I'm feeling really bad right now for myself. Can't believe I tried to outrun Murdoch's slow train at the crossover. That's fine, said Doc. Remember the time that the trucks pushed me into the walls of Volstead Castle? They had to redo the castle. You know how many mistakes the island makes in one day? They must be three mis mistakes or accidents each day. That's right, said Oliver, and I was one of them. You shouldn't be ashamed, said Duck. People and engines make mistakes all the time. But right now, I just feel so, so ungreat western, said Duck. Yeah, that's it, ungreat western. Well, if you're so ungreat western, then why do you wear that symbol on the side of your boiler? Because I'm a great western engine, said Oliver, chuckling. Come on, said Duck. Let's go do something quite westerny. How about the great western way? With that duck puffed away. This left Oliver thinking. Yeah, said Oliver. On great western. I am pretty great western. And I'm the greatest western of all. With that, the turntable spun and Oliver puffed away from his mistake.